This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the MCTV Tuesday News Update. I'm Kritzia Williams, reporting from Lubbock, Texas. And I'm Graciela Vasquez, reporting from Dallas, Texas. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to sweep across the globe with nearly 2 million cases being diagnosed worldwide. And over the weekend, the United States made headlines after surpassing Italy for the most deaths. According to the CDC, there have been 554,849 confirmed cases across the U.S. with 21,942 deaths reported. That number sits at just under 900 more deaths than Italy's current number reported of 21,067. In Lubbock, the city's health department reported an additional 10 cases and 5 deaths. That brings the total number of confirmed cases to 317, with 224 still active, 72 recovering, and 21 deaths. Of those cases, 164 of them have come from nursing home facilities, which makes up for more than half of all cases in the city. To date, 3,376 tests have been reported in Lubbock County. Many people who have been infected with the coronavirus have had a hard time dealing with the disease, but even those who are healthy are still experiencing the difficult effects of the COVID-19 situation. MCTV's Patricia Perry has a look at one Lubbock resident who is doing what she can to stay safe and healthy while trying to make a living. Candace Robles is an essential worker that is dealing with a lot of stress during the pandemic. Not only is Robles still working, she is also adjusting to an online format in college and teaching her children from home. She is an assistant general manager at her job, so keeping up with all of these positions needed has been hard on her. It's hard to fit in my own schooling, and I have to pick up more hours. I'm working about 45 to 50 hours a week now versus my 43 because we've had so many furloughed employees or people who can't work because their parents won't allow them to be out during the pandemic. So I have to pick up the extra slack, and since our boss can't afford to pay everyone, since I'm a salary manager, I don't have a choice. I have to pick up the slack. Robles is not only having a harder time at work, COVID-19 is also making it harder on her home life. She has two children at home that could be affected greatly if they caught the virus. This is making it where Robles is having to take more precautions from home and at work to make sure she doesn't bring it home to her kids. You know, we still have the drive through open. We still handle their money and things like that. So we try to keep hand sanitizer and now we've actually started handing the credit card machine out so we don't have to touch it because it is a concern because most of us do have families. And so a lot of us, we have started putting hampers next to our door so we just strip down and change into pajamas or whatever as soon as we get in because they don't know how long things can last on clothing. But you know, like my cell phone or anything, I have to sterilize it because if my kids touch it, it can last on my cell phone for three days mm -hmm. and you would never know it. Robles has a second grader at home that can't go back to school until cleared to do so. This makes it harder for Candace because she now has to not only keep up with her work for class, but also make sure her daughter is on track in school. And since in the daytime I'm teaching my daughter, I try to usually do my homework either way before she wakes up at 8 o'clock or when I get home from work at midnight. Robles is one of many essential workers being greatly affected by COVID-19. Workers across the United States are having to take the same precautions and deal with the same issues. For MCTV, I'm Patricia Perry. Big changes continue at Texas Tech in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Last week, the university announced the official plan for the Spring 2020 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. On Wednesday, Texas Tech sent out an email to faculty, staff, and students to announce that graduation will take place online on Saturday, May 23rd at 9 a.m. The virtual ceremony replaces the previously scheduled in-person events that would have taken place on Friday, May 15 and Saturday, May 16. The virtual experience will feature recognition of all graduates, personal messages to the graduates from those who supported them through the years, and congratulatory remarks from campus leadership. The May 23rd ceremony will recognize students from all 10 of the universities, colleges, the graduate school, university programs, and Win Energy. The order of the recognition is listed on your screen, but you can also find additional details by visiting commencement.ttu.edu. Commencement wasn't the only big change to be announced last week. The Office of the President also sent out a memo to notify the campus community about the changes to the summer schedule. 
According to Friday's email, the first summer session has now been officially moved to online instruction. That means students will continue to remain off campus through at least the beginning of July. Along with the instructional changes, Texas Tech is also offering several financial incentives for those who enroll in Summer 1 classes. The university will not change the online learning and distance education fee, which is typically $35 per credit hour. The student service fee is also being reduced to 50%, which means students should save about $275. With the discount, a student taking six course hours will save around $600 during the first summer term. At this time, there is no word if the second summer session will return to in-person instruction in July. With the abrupt changes to the spring 2020 schedule, many students who left for spring break didn't have a chance to get all their affairs in order before leaving campus. With that in mind, a couple of campus groups made some changes to help students out during these unusual times. During the extended spring break, the TTU library sent out notifications uh, for any students that have currently checked out items and renewed it until June 10th. The extension applies to items such as books and other printed material, along with any technology items made available through library departments such as the Digital Media Studio. University Student Housing has also been making special accommodations for students after Texas Tech officially made the change to online instruction for the spring semester. In March, USH started a limited move-out process to comply with social distancing guidelines and to help students and their families stay safe. Students who had been living in the dorms have been able to sign up for a day and time to collect their belongings. Between March 23rd and May 15th from there, the student is allowed to show up during their scheduled time, get their stuff, and then leave their room key in an envelope to avoid any direct contact with USH staff. If you still need to sign up for a time to move out, you can visit housing.ttu.edu and click on the link near the top of the page. That's it for today's MCTV News Update. I'm Kritzia Williams. And I'm Graciela Vasquez.